because gun tanks will take out the gall carrier as if it were made of paper mache. Now, you can hurt your allies, so be careful. I have accidentally taken out allies with my beam saber before. Oof. Not a good day for that Zaku. Yeah, aiming in this game is a bit of a trick. I mean, you get used to knowing exactly where to aim. But, if they're flying right at you, by all means, aim for them. They are going to get hit, unless they do a dodge real close. And you cannot hit them while the reticle is yellow. You have to wait for a red. Even if the shot locks onto them or you hit them with the beam saber, they're kind of like in that invulnerability state. Now, with the beam saber, I have been lucky enough sometimes to hit them twice with it before it go, the red reticle goes into yellow mode. Yeah, see, there's my evade rates at 100%. I must have only had, like, one shot at me, or I stepped in front of a shot. So now we have, looks like, only the two missions, both inside seven. We've got uh, destroy the targets uh, while testing out the gun tank, and the other one is destroy the targets using the gun cannon, another iconic thing. Let's go ahead and use the gun tank. It's slow, it's a tank, it's not meant to go fast, but uh, that main cannon iron on its shoulder will take out a lot of things. It does have a secondary weapon, which is the two arm gatling type weapons. They aren't that useful, but when you're reloading your main, it's not too bad. Alright. Mm, goodbye. Yeah, it's extremely powerful. Oh, this thing cannot boost worth a damn. Gotta love that hit. Takes its sweet time reloading. You only get six shots. There is a way to fire them individually, which is if you hold down circle for certain um, certain mobile suits, you actually be able to just kind of launch at them. But there's really no point to that. Uh, as far as I know, you can't reload. At least manually for this. Come on, buddy. Another tip to aiming for this game. Wait until they just dodge you. Because once they do, they can't quick dodge again. Or at least not in such a rapid succession. He's gone. Oh, we got another one here. Crap, I took two damage. If nobody else fires at me, that'll be my one or zero percent evade rate. Crap. Yeah, one shot will effectively take down their health. Ah! Screw you! Oh wow, right in the abdomen. Now, on occasion, actually, you can cause the legs to blow up on these mobile suits um, and have, like, the torso still flopping around. That's really rare, though. I, I hardly ever see that. And most of the time when I do, it's usually in a space combat. I guess that's not bad. New type rank D, it's the first. But these are, these are easy missions. We not even had our first yellow mission yet. All right, back to Earth. Now, after doing some missions, you will lose access to others, so, you know, you can't do necessarily every single mission the first playthrough, at least not that I know. So you got two missions here, base patrol, let's see the other one here. Ah, here's a new type of mission for us. This is one we actually want to do. We have to escort six Medea, which are like a cargo transport for the Federation, across a uh, hostile area. We have to defend the area and keep them from being destroyed. I express do these when you see them, because not only do they possibly give you new mobile suits, they will also, if you succeed, repair, I think, all of your mobile suits up to full strength. That's a really nice benefit. This is the Medea Supply Corps. Under pursuit by uh, the I can't enemy. remember her name either. 
Armor Array as an infatuation with her early on. I think it's Miss, Mat or Miss Matilda. I don't remember her rank. Now, you don't really see the ground gym type in the original Mobile Suit Gundam. Ah, oh, that hurt. Um, that actually was introduced in a follow-up kind of series, uh, the uh, 8th MS Team, which was by far one of my favorites. Not for the story, which I know a lot of people have problems with. It. I, I was impartial to it. It was cool, and it had its moments. It was better than 0083. Uh, in terms of story. Um, now, what I did like about it is how they showed um, everybody who's not an ace pilot. Yeah, they showed the grunts of the army. That I, they just showed how mobile suits were actually used in combat and took them further away from that super robot feeling that the original series kind of built itself upon. Now, these Medeas can take a couple hits, but not that many, so kill the enemy, get their attention, just destroy them. Wait for them to boost, and it makes things so much easier. Even when I get, uh, you can actually get additional weapons for mobile suits to use. Sometimes you can only get a few, sometimes more. Um, I still use this uh, bullop gun, just this machine gun, just for the fact that I can reload it as many times as I want. I failed so many missions because I ran out of ammo and couldn't wait a long enough time period for um, the weapon to reload. Especially in these defend missions and crap like that. Just, it's a complete and utter godsend. Sometimes the AI isn't, um, isn't that overly bright for the enemy. And then again, it's not overly bright for your allies either. <laughs> As you saw with the two uh, Herp Derp tanks earlier on. Ah, uh, doubling up, are we? One more to go. I still have three that can be blown up. Ow. Alright, we should be good. Alright, there we go. Nice. I actually blew up that uh, last one right before it crossed the finish line. Well, that's the Medea transport. I will be saving quite a few of those just because uh, they come in handy a lot, especially when you get higher end mobile suits. Yeah, Lieutenant Matilda, that's who she is. Okay, cool. This is the Medea Supply Corps. We have orders to provide supplies and mobile suit repairs. Now, to finalize my mission here, General Revel has requested copies of all your combat records. Resupply and repairs to mobile suits are completed. It may not be enough, but do recognize that General Revel is doing his best. Now, General Revel, um, he's kind of a an odd duck amongst the Federation, uh, like Admiralty generals and such like that. He's the one who really supports mobile suit design and usage, uh, especially Project V. Uh, he was the, one of the main backers for that. Uh, he's kind of a cool guy. He just reminds me of, like, um, I don't know who's a good character to really base him on. He's got a big bushy beard. Just reminds me of a really Civil War type of a general. But uh, he's pretty cool. I've come this far by special request from General Revel. Nothing at all to do with Jaburo. The Federation is facing some tough times. Now, Jaburo will become very important. Um, it is actually the main headquarters of the Federation. So... That the place is very valuable. Is falling apart. Those who are talented will prove to be valuable in these times. Which makes sense, considering that as, as the uh, 
narrator at the beginning stated, over half of the Federation forces are basically in complete and utter chaos. So now we got quite a few missions to go for. Um, the missions down here that you see with like the pinging, that just shows that they're new missions, just to call your attention to them. I'm not sure which mission I want to do. I might do this one up here. I think it's another test, but... Ah, yes, I do want to do this. This is a secret testing of an all-purpose mobile suit, the Gundam, the iconic mobile suit. Using, it looks like, the clay bazooka, which is a powerful weapon. Not my favorite, but a powerful one indeed. This mobile suit, even though it doesn't have stars, is utterly devastating if used it correctly. Now, you can eventually unlock this thing, and a one-star counterpart, but that's the only... The only ones I know of that you can actually get. And even then, I have difficulty trying to get the second one sometimes. It should be almost a one-hit kill for a lot of these. Now, for this weapon, you don't have like a reload or a manual reload. You have to wait until you run out. But we have 28 shots, and our sub Vulcans plus our uh, beam saber to rely upon should be deemed necessary. These targets should start moving eventually. This actually looks closer to the original design of Gundam, the one I grew up with. Uh, there was a redesign which is marked as the Dash 2, which it was cool. It had a lot, uh, a larger profile to it, I felt, but also more of a athletic. This was a stocky built. The torso is very heavy on this thing. Um, it very squared off, but uh, the second redesigned version was really quite uh, slim or at least streamlined. Oh, missed that one. That's another thing about explosive type weapons. You can actually hurt yourself depending on where the explosion goes. Luckily, now, <clears throat> that's another thing I haven't had a chance to explain, uh, the shield. Some mobile suits actually have a shield, and they will take damage for you. And you'll notice that sometimes you may get hit, but you're not hurt, at least with your armor. That's because your shield took it. Now, the shield will eventually get destroyed if it requires enough damage. <clears throat> so, use it sparingly. It only happens sometimes, and you generally need to be facing the uh, the target or the um, the munition as it hits you didn't do all that great. I was too busy trying to think of things to talk about and not paying attention to what the hell I was doing. Yeah, not that great. Evasion rate still not that great. Um, the thing about using the Gundam is that it literally almost goes out of commission after one use, and I've gotten it to the point where I've nearly taken no damage, and it still goes out of commission. Let's take a look here. Another... Alright, we're going to do that one. As you can see, all of our mobile suits are repaired. We still don't have all that many. I'm going to use the gem for a long time, though, especially the ground gem. <clears throat> there is another variant of the gem, which this is, is the Supply uh, a classic out of the original series, Passing which is the standard zone. gem type, or space gem. Please hate it. Up. Absolutely hate the design. Hate the weaponry for it. It is a piece of shit. I just wish I could find a way to seal this thing up so I could actually use it in space. <laughs> they didn't do space combat too well in this game. It, it works, but it's clunky. The ground combat wasn't so bad. I see you, Overt. Come on. Ow. But we got him. Gotta be careful, some of these guys have long-range weapons that will fuck a media up. If it's the machine gun Zakus, it's not so bad, but if it's the cannon or the bazooka, take them out ASAP. Yeah, these guys... He might actually take... no. I was about to say, he, if he gets another shot off of that, it usually only takes three from the, uh, <coughs> the Magellan attack top tank.
<clears throat> uh, I'm so glad I got this game working. And that I'm hopefully coming in for a decent quality. It's a PS2 game, so it's not like it's going to be HD. But still, hopefully it's pretty good. Most of the other Let's Players that I've seen that have tried this game, the quality's decent, but I, I felt that there could be a room for improvement. Um, I know this video is going to be available in 1080p, or at least according to YouTube. Um, the video is not shot in 1080p. Uh, the, the game doesn't even broadcast uh, or output into that, so it's just a wasted option, but I don't get really that much of a drop <clears throat> in frame rate just recording as is, so I'm not going to screw with the setup in order to uh, get it closer to what it actually is. There's no real benefit for me to do that. I might as well just leave it as it is. Alright, what else we got here? We didn't get anything out of that. We didn't get a resupply, sadly. Sometimes it won't. Ugh. I don't know if I want to test that piece of crap. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got to do this one. <laughs> this is another test weapon, but it's for probably the saddest excuse of a mobile weapon. <laughs> the ball. That's right, folks. You get to play as a cue ball with arms and a cannon. It's not that great, but you get, like, hundreds of them. It's got this one cannon that's kind of okay... And then it has a melee attack with arms. Other than that, that's about it. Yeah, it's got a lot of ammo though, I'll give it that. It just takes... It has no armor, and literally gets destroyed by anything. And that uh, clunking noise behind me is my partner, Mobile Suit. That is the Space Gym. The bane of my existence, I hate that thing. Especially the weapon it uses. Ugh, my partner's an idiot. I can't even... Now, for some missions, you don't have the option to give your partner commands. It just... you don't. So, get used to them getting in the way, pummeling them in the back a couple of times. Yeah, pinch your arms. If these were real enemies, like really difficult ones, I would have been dead a long time ago. I've tried to do uh, using the ball, just doing ball only runs for some missions, but it's almost impossible just because they're such pieces of crap. We're not doing too bad though. This is one of the first mobile suit type weapons that the Federation designed. Uh, the Principality of Xeon actually had quite a few more mobile suits at the beginning uh, than the Federation did, but they quickly caught up. I don't really care about Magnus right now, I'm just spamming the hell out of this cannon. I need to keep remembering that my screensaver is going to come up if I don't keep it from doing so. Wow, that's actually pretty decent accuracy for how reckless I was being with that cannon. Alright, come on. Alright, cool. As it says, we've received a new gym with enhanced parts. And we received a ball, uh, ball prototype. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's go to the mobile suit deck real quick. Yep, see, there's our second star gem there. That thing is very powerful compared to the no star and one star. This, uh, our accuracy is suffering. That's not good. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and save things here and take a break for a bit. Hopefully my memory card works. Yes, I know. Yep, I want to save there. Yep. Come on, work. Alright, cool. Well, I've done about 11 sorties, so uh, I think I'll just save that for there and uh, start back off uh, sometime later on. See you later, folks.